We all know that trees grow, but how do they grow? And where in the tree does growth happen? And in which direction? Stay awake. You just might learn something that you find interesting on this episode of Believe It or Not. So where will this branch be in 10 years? You think it'll be higher up? No, of course not. Nope, the trunk only grows out, not up. James. Can we come down now? No, just one more take. <sighs> Tree growth is a race to the sun in order to stay alive. Taller trees get more sunlight and shorter trees get less, and then they get weaker and weaker. So how do trees grow taller? Trees do not grow taller from here. And they don't grow taller from here either. At the very tip of every branch and every root, there's a special tissue for growing new wood. These buds, called terminal buds, because they're at the end of the branch, are responsible for making the twigs longer and the same with the roots. Current year growth on a twig has bark that often looks different than the older growth you can see on the end here. This helps us figure out where last growth started from. Some trees will grow several of these lengths each summer. You can see from here to here was the year before, and from here to here was the year before that. Twigs get longer at both the tips and at the side branches. Most twigs often contain several side buds as well, and these buds eventually grow into twigs which increases the number of leaves, which increases surface area. So why is surface area important? Trees will try to have as many leaves occupying as much space as possible to capture as much sunlight as they can. Some trees have side buds on opposite sides of the twig. And some trees have side buds and branches in alternate patterns. Either way, the idea is to capture as much sunlight as possible. Some trees grow their branches from the trunk in whorls, like red pine and white pine. And... Bill, where are you going? I'm a going whorl hunting. Whorls. Whorls mean that the branches grow out from the trunk in a circular pattern. With red and white pine, we can count those whorls to determine the age of the tree. And... Got me a whorl. Did you cut down the tree? Oh, maybe. Oh, Bill. A tree grows taller in order to capture more sunlight. And trees grow wider and fatter, too. So, yeah, a tree needs a very sturdy trunk to get that, those branches way up high. But what does it mean to get a fatter trunk? Fat. I know a little something about fat. But trees get fatter around the trunks and up in the branches, around the branches, and down around the roots. And we call that diameter growth. The only living part of a stem, trunk, or root is this thin layer of cells just underneath the bark. These outside living layers under the bark are called cambium. One cambium layer grows new wood. Another cambium layer grows new bark. This growth makes the trunks, branches, and roots grow fatter. All this wood on the inside of the tree cookie from past growth rings is actually dead. So most of the tree that you see standing in the woods is dead. Now we all know that trees grow rings and that's how we tell how old it is. That's right. And how many rings do you suppose a tree grows each year? What do you think? One, two, three maybe? Nope. Two rings each year. Two? Bill, I always heard it was one. Well, let's take a look at this tree cookie here. You can see that there are light colored rings and then there are dark colored rings. In the springtime, the tree grows the light colored rings. Now in the summertime, it grows a different ring and the dark colored rings. So that's two rings each year. And then after summer, the tree stops growing for about five to seven months and we call that winter. So the point is, if a tree only grew one ring, how would we know where one ring ended and the next one began? You can't. 
So in our temperate and boreal forest trees, we can count either the dark rings or light rings to age a tree. Now there are many stories that a tree cookie can actually tell us besides just age. For example, in this tree, you can see this rotten part here where the tree sustained a wound at one point. Wounds never heal on a tree. They're in there in the, until the tree rots and falls apart. In this case, the fungus kept the tree from closing over that wound so that the fungus could send the spores out to spread. Or, as another example, you see these marks here. These are old branch stubs that when the tree grew out, it grew over those branch stubs. So tree rings can also tell us how much growth the tree put on each year. When the tree was younger, it had access to lots of sunlight and put on these really fat rings. But as it got older, these rings got skinnier. It must have had more competition for sunlight and couldn't grow as much each year. You know, Georgia, that sounds like a bit of work for an ecological detective. You betcha. Tree rings can tell a lot of stories, if you know the language. So trees grow in a couple of different ways. The twigs get longer, and then they get fatter. Okay, I, th I think I understand that. Ah, but how do trees make wood? Ooh, that's a good question, and that involves photosynthesis and respiration. Hmm, sounds like an episode to explore another day. Good idea. I hope you'll join us for another round of Believe It or Not. Uh-huh.